Moving on to other parts of our world, a second explosion in the Russian city of Volgograd on Monday that brings a total of dead in the two separate but consecutive incidents to at least 27. The twin attacks come just weeks before Russia plays host to the Sochi Winter Olympic Games. Our Kwan Sawa reports. Russia's city of Volgograd is in fear. Two explosions in less than 24 hours have killed at least 27 people and injured scores more. Security had been stepped up at train stations and airports around Russia after a suspected female suicide bomber attacked Volgograd's main train station on Sunday, killing at least 17 people. And then, with the shock of that bomb attack still fresh, a second deadly blast hit the city on Monday morning local time, killing at least 10 people and injuring 23. Federal investigators are calling Monday's explosion on a trolley bus a terrorist act. Journalists in the area reported the roof of the trolley bus was blown off, with debris and bodies being scattered on the streets. As for Sunday's bombing, Russian authorities are still investigating, but they say the bomber detonated explosives in front of a metal detector just inside the main entrance of the station that was bustling with holiday travelers. According to our information, a female suicide bomber approached the metal detector, saw a policeman there, got nervous and detonated the bomb. It could have been worse if the bomber passed through into the waiting hall as the explosion was the equivalent of 10 kilograms of TNT. While the bomber's identity has still to be confirmed and more than one person could have been involved, female suicide bombers, known as Black Widows, the family members of dead insurgents, have carried out a number of attacks in nearby Muslim regions that stand opposed to the Russian government. Volgograd is located only a few hundred kilometers northeast of Sochi, the host city for the Winter Olympics. The two consecutive attacks are raising security concerns, with the event kicking off in just six weeks. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.